What is the best type soul race? <clears throat> Just gonna say it rhymes with your mom's a car. Anyways, we're gonna start off with worst to best. So we're gonna start off with the worst race, Quincy's. Now you may be saying, Quincy's are the worst. It's gotta be Soul Reapers. Yeah, I was talking about a baseline Quincy. Baseline Quincy only has two moves and well, a cybernetic aren't as good as a third move, say, on Shikai. There's so many good third moves on Shikai's that are way better than the cybernetic, because a lot of cybernetics don't even do a lot of damage. And, uh, I mean, they're fun. They give you a little bit more flexibility with certain things. But there's only, like, two cybernetics we use. And that's the claw and the flame. Everything else you would just use in gimmick builds. And those don't aren't as good as most third moves for Shikai's. Now, before you say, what about Quincy Keto? I think Quincy Keto is by far the easiest Keto to learn how to fight because the uh, Kasaiba move that just behind you, you just have to turn around, block, and then dash back. I mean, it's really, really good against an opponent that doesn't know how to fight Quincy Keto, which is a lot of people, which is why a lot of people think it's really strong. But a wrong card Keto is 10 times more annoying to deal with. Uh, and we'll get to that later. And also for Soul Reaper Keto, Sword Keto is just really good at keeping on pressure. So I think they're about the same, but people will play Quincy Keto it's just a tad bit easier to play. But Quincy Keto in the right hands is insane. Well, so is Soul Reaper Keto, but a wrong card Keto is on a whole nother level. We'll talk about that later. Now, if you have True Blood though, I think Quincy's are stronger. Problem is True Blood's a pretty rare item, so most Quincy's don't have it. And remember, if you even get a cyber box, it's not even part of the base kit. So it's unlike when you get your third move on Shikai immediately, you need a cyber box. But yeah, it's so close. These races are so close in terms of viability that it's pretty much a toss up, though, for the most part. But a base Quincy is by far weaker than a base Soul Reaper. That is for sure, I can say that. All right, so let's talk about the Quincy elements. They have definitely the weakest of all of the elements, for sure. But that's just because they lack a third move besides their cybernetic. Not saying that the uh, Quincy strips are bad. Here's my order of them. In order, mind you. In order. This is all in order. And I don't think this list is anything too crazy. Fear being an A tier might be a little crazy to some people, but it's still really good, even if it's not as good as it used to be in the pre-Dave era. It's still really good, and for powers reasoning, power is really good, mostly because for Hakata players, other than that, it's fine. It'd probably be in C tier, but for how good it is with Hakata, is why it's in B. And you may be saying, why Explosion not an S? I mean, it's good. It, like, it's really good, but uh, it's just not as good as Balance, Defty, and Linger Visionary. Like, Visionary's damage is crazy. Also, stun is crazy. Passive, Death Dealing is crazy with the stun ability to keep people from walking away balance has a heal ability and precedence and slice also guard breaks like all of those are crazy and like glutton is just more aggressive than explosion which is probably better and for thunderbolt thunderbolt just got range it's got the combo it's got people to stay in there like there's not one bad thing about thunderbolt everything under though especially the new royal shrift like i want the royal shift to be good but the problem is it's uh the T move is kind of slow, even if it does have hyper. It also doesn't seem to do that much damage either, but maybe it'll get a buff, maybe this thing. And for Superstar, which pains me, I used to love Superstar, is... Well, one of the moves is basically useless. The little light beam attack is basically useless. You're never using that attack. Uh, but the teleport's still decent, but even its vault's not that good anymore besides... But it is super fun. It is super fun. I can't even say it. Like, using the giant star is still a lot of fun. But yeah, uh, for all the weapons for Quincy, they're all decent. I mean, I don't think any of them are really that bad, so I'm not gonna talk about them. You can't really go wrong with any of them, to be fair. So let's move on to Soul Reapers. Soul Reapers, Soul Reapers, Soul Reapers. Man, you guys are either the most busted at the current moment or the weakest. And out right now, they're probably neutral for once, which is crazy. Even though the great rapier being happening. <laughs> just happened not too long ago man rapier needed that nerf and so glad it got it because oh my god that was a horrible time to play speaking of uh soul reaper why do i think they're better than quincy first of all their wizard mask is better by base so you don't need like a boost 
variant like you do on Quincy to be just pretty much as equal as uh, Vizard because Vizard Mass has a higher base stat increase than Let's. Anyways, though, that doesn't really matter. But they get the thing that really matters though is that Shikai's get three moves right off her it. Three moves, which is massive. Like, I don't think you realize how big one extra move is that's not the cyber boxes. Like blood, the extra move is extinguished. The amazing dash. Uh, for gravity, it was the giant slash. That's your extra move. Like, there's so many good extra moves for uh the third thing equivalent, if not it's twin hift and then uh hemorrhage, which are both amazing as well. Just in case I said the wrong extra slot. I don't remember if it was the bottom or the top as of right now is recording. But they also have some of the best elements. Like duality, blood, uh, Getsuga. I absolutely despise Getsuga and how easy it is in spammable. You'll notice something simple. All the best uh, Soul Reaper and uh, later Aron cards, which you kind of know that they're going to be the best now because in a second, uh, they're all really, really, really spammable with super low cooldowns. Which is what Type Souls turn into. The more spammable something is, the more guard breaks it has, the better it is. And uh, Soul Reapers don't have as many guard breaks as, say, uh, Aron cards, but we'll get to that. But, uh, yeah, Soul Reapers just have a whole extra third move, and then their Vizard Mask is better. Usually, anyways. Unless they have True Blood, then theirs is better, but most likely they don't have True Blood. So, here's the tier list. I don't think anything on here is too surprising. Blood, Duality, and Get to Go are all in S tier. I mean, Blood, Free Heal, super easy to use. Uh, I mean, you, what, there's nothing bad about Blood, genuinely. Duality, super spammable, super good, super. This is, everything's good about the blood. I mean, uh, duality. Lots of fast cooldowns, good damage, lots of moves. And Getsuga is just super, super spammable. It's crazy range, crazy damage. Well, not super crazy damage, but the, all of its guard breaks are all super easy to use. Now, the A tier is probably a little more subjective. Snow, I would say, is better than Ice. Now, ice feels a little outdated, not just VFX-wise, which VFX-wise is also outdated, but Ice just feels outdated. It's still good, mind you, but it definitely feels outdated. It feels like it could be reworked. But the reason why Snow isn't in S tier, like, eh, why is Snow on S tier? Well, Snow's on S tier because of choreography. The fact that you have to build up something before you can get to use your moves in their best way possible is what makes Snow A, not S. Because uh, if you're fighting against a good player, you might not have any openings to use choreography. And that's his biggest problem. If you don't get any openings to use it, it's really hard to get your Snow to its full potential. And if you can't get it off, you might get snowballed. Ink? Ink is insane in the right hands. Ink Kakata? Insane. Insane in the membrane. Ink Kakata is. Because as soon as you get your disabled, oof, that's rough. Fire? Fire got buffed in a shadow buff. Crazy stun, crazy fast cooldown, crazy damage. Definitely deserves it. Theater has been recently gaining a lot of popularity because of one move specifically. I don't remember which one it is, but it's a teleport that comes up behind you. I have no clue how you dodge it. I've tried figuring it out. I can't figure it out. If it wasn't for that move, Theater would probably be in C tier. But that one move alone is good damage, and I don't know how you dodge it. So it's super good. Super, super good. So Theater is definitely an A tier because of that. And then we have Water, one of my personal favorite Sheikais. I mean, Steel's Ray, Geyser is insane for catching people, uh, great pressure. There's not anything bad with Water. It definitely deserves it. And then Wind. Wind is really good in the hands of a good player because it allows them to do some crazy combos. Everything else, though, I really feel like I don't need to say much on. I feel like everything else lower than this is uh, properly rated. I don't really need to explain anything. <laughs> but uh, Ice and Veen in uh, D tier is hilarious to me because that thing is horrid. Anyways, let's talk about the most OP race in the game right now. Aron cars. Oh, where do I even begin with Aron cars? There's so much things that are busted about them at this current state that make them far ahead of every single other race, and it's not even close. But let's talk about probably the most obvious one, elements. Every single element besides Phoenix is good on a wrong car, and not just like, oh, they're, they're good, they're, they're really good. Like, Slash. Why is Slash a common? Slash is a, you know, Gravity, the new Shikai that's released, which was my favorite until they nerfed it to all hell? It was just the worst Slash. But Slash, they kept the exact same. Slash has not been touched. Slash is a better gravity in every way. And remember, Slash is a common. Is a common. And that's a common theme with the wrong card. A lot of the best elements are commons. Slash. Insane. Guard breaking projectile. Grab that's basically impossible to parry perfectly. 
And even if you do block it, you can still get hit with the Z move because the slashing does a lot of damage and it bleeds. It does so much damage. And then if you don't want you don't want to run that combo, we got Bone. Crazy good AoE. Teleporting move. Hard pressure with the projectile. All of this on a common. On a common. Like, what is that? And then what, what's the other common? Storm. Also, really good. Insane pressure. Really good guard break with the stomp. It's like the, the list goes on and on about the Arankar weapons. Events, elements. Stark. By far, probably one of the most annoying things in the game with a really bad laser hitbox. Light. Why does it do so much damage? I don't know. Vampire and good hills. Like, you can go on and on and on about the, the Arankar elements. They're all really good. Except for Phoenix. It's ridiculous. And then let's not even talk about the weapons. Unicloras, uh, Katana, a common. Guard breaks, extremely fast slash. Nails, guard breaks, a projectile. Uh, let's see, uh, what else is there? Fire Dice Great Sword, really good. I don't think it's busted. As well as you think, I don't think it's busted. Fire Dice Great Sword. Like, what were they thinking when they were balancing a wrong car? And don't get me started on charge variant. Charge variant. Oh my god. Charge variant has got to be the most stupid thing in the game right now, next to uh, zero variant. And the reason is, back when charge variant first released, you couldn't build charge variant moves while using charge variant moves. So that's how it was balanced. Then I don't know what update they took that out. They took that out, and uh, now charge variant moves can be charged while hitting charge variant moves, and it just causes a giant problem because all charge variant moves are better than the base. And this is a really big problem, especially when you're fighting against like Hakata. Hakuna Charge Berry messes up all the timings, makes them extremely fast, do extra damage. Charged Hakuna is the only unfair Hakuna to fight against. A Ronkar Hakuna has got to be the lowest skill thing in the game right now. It is ridiculous. And don't get me started on that universal weapon. That thing is so stupid. Oh, Jesus Christ. And then let's talk about Zero Variant. You can just spam lasers out constantly. And they do good damage. You get lots of lasers. You still get your Hyrio armor because you still keep it in that uh, with that variant. It's ridiculous. There's those two variants alone make uh, Aron cars insane. And then plus the good weapons and reses, like it's not even close. Sure, you might not get like a pre little health medi pack in the middle of a match like Vizard or Lance, but it's, it doesn't matter. And, like the constant pressure you can do with a wrong car is ridiculous compared to the other two. Like, there's genuinely so much pressure when you fight against an Iran car or when you're a Iran car that it feels like it's cheating almost. Like, especially if you're running like charge variant with slash kendo, it's over. It's over. Might as well, your opponent might just might as well just give up. Might as well just give up, right? Might as well just give up because it's just not going to be fun. You're going to get eviscerated across the map. You're going to get, and if not, you're going to try to dash away, but they're going to pop their X. They're just going to run at you and slam you into the ground and combo you. And even you can't even block it. It's hard to block. Even if you block it, you can still get X. It's the, it's, it's ridiculous. The wrong cards need to be nerfed. Best way to nerf them right now is uh, revert the charge chain. So you cannot build charge moves while hitting charge moves. That's a simple change. And for the Cero variant, I can live with the Cero variant. It's annoying. It's annoying for sure, but I can live with it. I can live with it for sure, but the charge variant needs to be, just make it so you can't build charge variant moves with charge variant moves. Just make it so you can only build it using normal moves. That's it. That's all you gotta do to change it. I think it's balanced. Cause, but then it also for the reses though, like slash, like nerf slash, like all across the board. The projectile shouldn't guard break, just shouldn't guard break for how fast it is. The X, you should get punished for messing the X when you get blocked, cause you don't even get punished really if you just block it, if your opponent blocks it, it's ridiculous. And then for start, fix the hitbox on the laser beam. That's it. Just fix the hitbox. That's all I want you to do. This Stark's a lot less annoying. At the time when I'm fighting Stark, I'm behind them and I still get hit. Oh, and, I'm, and the laser not clearly not hitting me. It's like, oh, and light, light's got nerfed. I, I mean, light's still really good. Got nerfed though. Still really good. Got nerfed. Everything else though, like storm. I mean, the kick having guard break is fine. Wish it was a little longer wind up so you knew. But I can live with a lot of the stuff. Besides. Slash and then bone is really good. Do I want it nerfed? Maybe slightly. It doesn't need too much. A lot of these are just too good for their own good. And we're just a slight nerf. Besides slash, 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 nerf slash into the ground. Please, for the love of God, nerf slash into the ground. Please. And it's touch Stark even more. Let's we'll make the cooldowns longer. It's that's all you gotta do. <sighs>
Anyways, I hope you uh, like and subscribe to this video because when Type Reborn comes out, I'll probably make a video on that, make some content. So, like and subscribe to these Wednesdays. That's MP. It's Chase Sizzle, Mother Trucker. It's Chase Sizzle, Snitch. Let's get some Robux tonight.